Hi everyone and welcome to another part of the web3.js tutorials. In this part we're going to continue with the get past logs and here we're going to uh, instead of use instead of using the get past log use get past event. And as I told earlier in the last video, the use cases of this kind of using past events is that uh, if you use for example uh, the past logs you will need to if you want to filter the uh, data of uh, the history of that smart contract you cannot filter with just the method or the sig the event signature right you just uh, you also need the addresses in order to contain instead of the topics but if you want to filter it only and only by the uh, event then uh, the better way is to use the get past events method so here we're going to see how that works notice that what this function is going to return is exactly the same as this one but if we have a larger number of logs instead of one then you will be able to see that we filtered only the specific kind of events so again in this very simple smart contract we have the transfer event um, right over here the transfer event so we only we can only work with this one but in a, in a more complex kinds of smart contracts where we have different kinds of events for different kinds of transactions then we can just filter those specific kinds of events and uh, see the lo logs of the, those events in that smart contract right so right now what I'm gonna do is uh, to write that kind of method so here we'll have Actually, before getting started with that, we need uh, a couple of more variables. And that is the um, ABI and also the smart contract address, right? So we'll need to also get the ABI from uh, the JSON file that we have already had. So in order to do so, here we have JSON file path. I think, yes, we, we've got that. We also need the uh, we, we need to get the ABI data, so we can get it right over here. Copy it from this function, which is transfer function or the deploy function, whichever you want to use here. And let me put it afterward. So we've got the ABI from here, and now in the next line, we will need to. Uh, Okay, before that, let me also define ABI. Let ABI equal just uh, an empty JSON or object here. Actually, object, not JSON. So we've got an API, we'll get the API and uh, we'll write it this way. So now what we're gonna do is to also define a variable con called cons uh, contract, right? So const contract, and this is going to be equal to new dot new web three dot if dot contract. Open the parentheses, and it will get the ABI. And also the contract address, which we've got it uh, over here. Contract address. <coughs> here we go. And now we're ready to write the get past events. So contract. Now that we've got the contract, we can say contract dot get past events. Get past events and it will get all events so in here you should determine whether you want all events or not so I write all events then comma and open the brackets so we have from block And here we can write earliest 
to block the latest and then we will have dot then and we'll get the events from here events and then uh, we can console log all of the events to see what it shows we can also filter specific events so first of all let's console log the event console dot log event here we go and then we'll we can write const transfer event equals to so here events that filter events here we can filter the kind of result we're looking for so I can input instead of this parentheses event events uh, plural and um, events dot event actually events dot event so here we've got events and events dot event and check whether it equals uh, the transfer right so, and transfer should be written this way with uh, capital letter at the beginning and here we go so we can then console log the transfer event right so in the next line console log the transfer event <coughs> so now that's it uh, we we need to add another line after this to catch the errors in case there are any errors so error and then we'll have once we get the error we'll open the bracket and console.error console.error so error fetching events and then a comma and the error itself anyway that's it now let's test our function as you can see we filtered it we'll, we've also console log the event now in order for preventing from confusion i'm going to comment out this part get past logs also we don't need this anymore i'm going to also console log this part so we'll only get the abi and We'll try to get uh, the ABI here, get the contract address, create this contract object here, and then use the method get past events in order to filter the event that we're looking for. So right now we don't need to compile or get balance or create transactions because we have Ganache up and running, but if you have closed it, it can run them again and not comment those specific functions. But here we have uh, a number of transactions here the records are over here so uh, we have contract creation contract call and all the different data notice that the data we have on ether scan is uh, a, a larger number of data not just uh, this specific data so now uh, what I'm gonna do is to we can also we can only 
or um, let me do something else we can just keep the addresses json file path and web3 but uh, we can <coughs> comment all of these get balances and transfer token and deploy because we already have the data of the contract that has been deployed here so we can just call it from here and use it and get the very same data that we've got so let me save this and let us run it see if there it will return any errors okay so this time we, we, we didn't have to wait because we only had the uh, we had to run this uh, part of our uh, code so as you can see we've got we've got a very different kind of uh, lock here so we've got an address the address is right over here this is the address of the contract the block hash and some other data the topic is just an array but we cannot uh, determine what it is but here you can see the name of the event too so this is a different kind of lock this this is related to the past events which is different from this one which is a smaller kind of lock right <coughs> so here we've got one log here we've got two logs let's see if there are any differences right so the block number is the same and the transaction hash is also the same so i think it's just uh because oh i guess why we have two of them because we have console.log events here and then we filter that event and then we console.log that filtered events and both of them are the same because we only have one event and that contains the transfer event right so that's why we have both of them so once i comment this one save this and rerun the project once more we'll we'll be able to see that we only have one event right because we, we only uh, had one transaction so uh, the event here shows that it's a transfer but in the one we had for the past log we wouldn't know if it's a transfer event or not so i highly recommend that you use the get past events because it's much more clear what you're gonna do with it but here um you just end up seeing these uh encrypted parts so this is this shows that it's a transfer but um not everyone can uh, recognize that but once you get this kind of get past event it is totally clear that the event is transferred so you can just print it anywhere put it on your website and uh, if you want to create some kind of ether scan for your token uh, that that would be a very good idea to use this get past events so these are all really useful functions that will become handy in the future tutorials or in the uh, future projects once you want to create something really great notice that here we're using a very simple smart contract we might use uh, a much more complex kind of smart contracts like, like the ones we had in bonding curve we, we want to buy sell we want to transfer we want to have all the different kinds of events minting burning and so on so these are all the different kinds of ways that we, we can uh, use in order to filter our smart contracts. So that's it for this part of our uh, tutorial and this video. So until the next one, goodbye.